And we're back now to answer your legal questions. And joining me today is none other than Jania Coleman-Lee with the Southwest Louisiana Law Center. Thanks for coming in, Jania. Once again, always glad to be here, Agnes. All right, well, let's get to our first question of the day. Does an IRA that is inherited by an adult child that is married become community property in the event of a divorce? Well, not necessarily. You will probably not have to split your inheritance with your ex-spouse if you get a divorce. However, the separate property of a spouse, which is you, is exclusively your property if it's acquired by a spouse by the inheritance or donation to him individually. Then it becomes your separate property. However, the transfer by you, the heir, to the other spouse of the separate property with the stipulation that it shall become part of the community property does transform the money into community property. And if this is done, then she would be entitled to one half of the money if there is a divorce. Well, now, if that inherited IRA is rolled over into an account in the name of that heir and the children are named as beneficiaries, does the wife still have to agree? Uh, no, she does not have to agree. The separate property of the spouse, which is you, is exclusively yours. And so, therefore, uh, you have complete authority to dispose of it as you see fit. So she does not have to agree to your decision. All right. Now to our next thing. I recently purchased a house which appeared to be recently remodeled. The seller told me that his mom, who recently passed, owned the house and she maintained her home in excellent condition. Now after moving in, the electricity continuously flickers or just goes out when in use. Can the seller be held responsible for repairing this? Well. If it can be proven that the seller knew that this problem existed when the house was sold, then yes. And the seller who knows that the thing he sells has a defect, but omits to declare it or tell the sell of the buyer about it, or declares that the thing has a quality, for example, that it's in perfect condition, and he knows that it does not have that quality, then yes, the seller is liable to the buyer for the return of the price with interest from the time it was paid for the reimbursement of reasonable expenses that the buyer uh, occasioned by the sale and those incurred for the preservation of the thing. So, and also the damages and reasonable attorney fees. So there is some liability uh, on the part of the seller if he knew the thing was damaged and did not disclose this to the buyer. So I guess this is um, why people should. There are many should. things that questions and answers or our um, response to our answers uh, are posted on the KPLC website if you want to see more. Now, Jania, this is why people should have that house inspected before they actually sign on the dotted line, right? Thank you, Agnes. All right. Then. That's going to be it for them now. But if you want your legal questions answered, you can email them to us at news at kplctv.com. We'll send them along to the good people at the Southwest Louisiana Law Center. And you'll get your answers every Wednesday right here on 7 News at Noon. Remember, civil matters only, please.